In a combination problem, the order does not matter. Um, one problem we're going to look at that does use combination, but also it, it also uses a permutation. So this is both permutation and combination is a words problem. The important thing about combinations is that you have to remember to divide by repeats, where you have the same exact elements but just in a different order. Remember, with a combination, that order doesn't matter. So no matter what order it is, if it's the same elements, it's the same set. Example 5 will show us this. So Luke is eating a giant bowl of vanilla ice cream. He has four toppings to choose from, sprinkles, Oreos, chocolate chips, and gummy bears. He's, go he's only going to pick three of these toppings. How many different three-topping combinations could he make? Well, if we wanted to, we could figure out all the possible combinations. We could have sprinkles, Oreos, chocolate chip, gummy bears, sprinkle, sprinkles, Oreos, gummy bears, chocolate chips. We could have, or sorry, we're only doing three. So we could have sprinkles, Oreos, chocolate chips. Now this combination also includes sprinkles, chocolate chips, Oreos, chocolate chips, Oreos, sprinkles, and chocolate chips, sprinkles, Oreos. So that's one. We could then have Oreos, chocolate chips, gummy bears. But this also includes Oreos, gummy bears, chocolate chips, gummy bears, chocolate chips, Oreos, gummy bears, Oreos, chocolate chips, chocolate chips, Oreos, gummy bears, chocolate chips, gummy bears, Oreos. Ah, so much fun. We could then have, let's see, Gummy bears, doo -doo -doo. sprinkles, Oreos, which includes all of these options as well. And lastly, we could have, let's see, this one has no gummy bears. This one has no sprinkles. This one has no chocolate chips. So we need one that has no Oreos. But this one again has a bunch of other options that work as well. There we go. So we see that we actually get that if I were to count these all up, I have six for each column. So there are six different, or t six times four different ways to order all of these four toppings, but only four distinct ways. A way to make this easier to think about is we realize that if we're choosing three elements, we're not choosing one of them. And there's only four different ways to not choose an element. We can also write this as a formula. So let's think about this. If we were to take 4 factorial, which is our 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, that would give us all of these 24 options that I have listed in red. So we get 4 factorial. However, for each set of 3, there are 3 factorial ways to rearrange those 3 elements. We need to divide by those repeats. So we get 4 factorial over 3 factorial, which is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 3 times 2 times 1. Four unique ways to arrange these toppings. So we have four different ice cream sets. This brings us to the formula for a combination. Remember, for this, you have to have it such that order does not matter. And again, you want to have no repeats. So no repetitions, no replacements. Again, n is the number possible, and k is the number we're choosing. Here, our formula is n choose k is n factorial over n minus k factorial times k factorial. So that extra k factorial is the number of repeats.